Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be telling y'all 10 hacks that every single girl should know. So let's get on to the video. So for hack number one, I've got you with a DIY lip mask. So I know most of us have this problem mainly during the season that our lips are very dry and chapped and it's very very irritating and no lip balm seem to work. So what I do is I have a very bad lip situation that one day I don't do this hack and sleep. The next morning my whole lip will be all dry and just it's very gross but yeah I suffer from that problem a lot. So no lip balm suit me. The only lip balm that suits me is Biolene and I... I put a thick layer of it on my lips before I sleep, like a very, very thick mask. And when I wake up in the morning, all the dead skin cells just come off because of the moisture of this. And when you wash your face and just wipe it with a towel, your lips feel baby soft. And just reapply a little more lip balm. You don't have to put a thick layer, just a little bit the entire day and you're sorted. Number two on the list, we have another, not necessarily I could call a hack, but a tip that is very important. So when you do your night routine and sleep in the night, all the moisturizer and all heals your skin overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, you've not gone in any pollution and your skin is basically clean. So you just wash it with water and do not put soap when you wake up in the morning because you do not need soap. Your skin is clean. You just need to refresh your face. So you wash your face with water. That's about it. And what I do is I put ice cube on my face when I wake up. Or I just spray a little bit of rose water and I put a sunscreen. Which takes me on hack number three. So hack number three is something very, very, very important. Like if this is the only thing you would take from this video, take this. So put a sunscreen even when you are at home. Yes. You need sunscreen even when you're at home. You might be hearing it everywhere, but trust me, it is so important. Because see, we're continuously sitting in front of our screens. We have online classes or we're on our phone, watching YouTube, scrolling through Instagram, whatever it is. We're in front of a screen and the UV rays is very, very harmful. So it really brings the signs of aging early on our skin. You might not notice the difference now like because you won't get a tan and all on sitting on your phone. But trust me, when you grow, you'll thank me. When you're 20 years old and you don't have wrinkles, it'll be a big thumbs up. So do not forget to put sunscreen on your skin even when you're at home. I know many people were like, why to waste sunscreen and all. But I use this ultralight sunscreen for Indian skin from Mama Earth. I take a very little amount. I'll show you. Okay, let's go. See, this is the consistency. This is all I'll take. I'll just dot it around my entire face. Now, I'm not going to put it now. But I'll just dot it over my entire face. And I don't have a bath when I wake up in the morning immediately. So after I put my rose water, I just put sunscreen and sit for my online classes. But putting sunscreen is very important. Just listen to me, please. Hack number four. Now, I'm sure we all know that the... Skin of your underarms is very delicate and gentle. It's like the skin under your eyes. It's very thin. So we need to take care of it. And all the deodorants what we use, it has alcohol in it. And it has all those chemicals what we really don't want to put on our underarms. Now you'll be asking me, what do you put? Like body odor is a problem for everyone. Lime. Trust me, lime is a solution. Like I'm sure we all have this body odor problem. At least when we play and all and come. Just take like five drops of it and put it on your underarm now i don't need to put it because i've already finished but after your bath or before you sleep or whenever like whenever you take a shower just put lime on your underarms and trust me no deodorant would have helped you this much you'll forget what body odor was like it won't happen only so trust me just do this use lime as your natural deodorant because most of our skins are young and tender and we wouldn't want to harm it at such an early age so you use lime as your deodorant. That's about it. Hack number five. So for all the girls out there who have frizzy hair or hair that gets knotted very easily, this is a hack that you love the most. So when you have, when you shampoo your hair and then squeeze the water, put conditioner, and after the conditioner is evenly spread on your hair, take a brush and remove all the knots in the shower. Now, if you think that conditioner causes hair fall and if you brush your hair in the shower, you'll have more hair fall, no. So all the hair, mainly for curly hair, your hair falls and gets stuck in the hair only. So when you 
put conditioner and comb it it's not removing your hair from the roots but it is removing the hair that is already fallen and it's stuck in your hair so brush your hair with conditioner on and your hair will feel much softer and smoother after it dries so yeah Back do- number 6 Now I'm sure we all have this problem that when we wake up in the morning our eyes feel like closing and we feel like going back to sleep and all of that just cuz our eyelashes are just sad and like that so uh, when we wake up just take your eyelash curler and curl your lashes so your lashes go upwards and it will make sure that your eyes stay open and fresh the entire day and all these small small things i'm sure make a difference at least to me they do so i don't do it regularly but whenever i'm like really sleepy in the morning i just curl my lashes and it makes me feel awake and fresh hack number 7 now i'm sure many 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 people have this problem that they have hair fall or their hair is not growing fast or their hair is just not healthy in general now this hack is very very important for all of you all before you sleep every night for 5 minutes massage your scalp just massage your scalp very nicely and then however you put your hair to sleep just put it like that but don't forget to massage your hair every single night before sleeping for 5 minutes or not for 5 minutes not for 10 minutes for 2 minutes 3 minutes but do it for at least a little while because see the blood circulation on your scalp will increase when you massage it and when you sleep the time it's the time when your hair grows or it repairs itself or whatever so even you do it in the night the blood circulation is going on and you sleep so your hair grows faster or any hair fall problem it will all be solved but be consistent that's very important so do it for a month and then you will be able to tell the difference and i use this thing which i got from mini so it's like this head massager so i massage my scalp with this every night before i sleep and trust me it feels amazing you know before you sleep that nice head massage or even when you want to do a good oil chumpy and for me the problem is everyone's asleep when i want to massage my hair with like oil so massage it with this it feels like someone's actually massaging your scalp it feels amazing okay let me not get distracted with this and spoil my hair at this point and move on to the next hack hack number 8 now this is like a natural serum for your hair and mainly for people who have curly hair you know how much you need a curl gel or a serum trust me this is so nice i've stopped refreshing my hair because where do we have to go no i was sitting at home so at least for my curls to look good i just do this so i take aloe vera gel my aloe vera gel like i've used this entire bottle is khatam it's not even coming out of the pump take aloe vera gel on your hand i'll show you i need about this much for my hand uh, for my hair at once and then very little coconut oil just a drop not a drop but very little god why does coconut oil get ach yeah that's the amount of coconut oil and mix it nicely in your hand and what i like to do is see now this part of my hair is frizzy i've done nothing to my hair today i've not even put in this just put it on your hair nicely and scrunch it up mainly for curly hair girls this is a life saver cuz if If you are lazy to refresh your hair, see it already looks so fresh and shiny, and it'll stay like this the entire day. Plus, it has no chemicals; like it's not any serum. It's something natural. And aloe vera is good for your hair. Coconut oil is good for your hair. So just do this much, scrunch your hair, and you're good to go. And if you have an oily scalp or your hair is oily, put a little less coconut oil. My hair is actually quite dry, so I can afford to put a good amount of coconut oil on my hair. And see, this just refreshes my hair. Why shouldn't? Why didn't I do this before the video started? Like it would look so much more presentable. Never mind. I did it. Hack no. number nine. Now this is something that I'm sure many of you all don't know about, and even if you know about, good. See, your skin is like a sponge. You know how a sponge is when you wet it, and you put a body wash on it. The body wash gets absorbed, but when the sponge is dry and you put body wash, it just doesn't absorb and the foam doesn't form. That's exactly how your skin is. So when you put any moisturizer and all and your skin is dry it won't really absorb into your skin and spread evenly and that won't happen so what i do is when i wash my face i use rose water as a natural toner i just put it in a na- normal spray bottle i use the banjara's rose water i don't like the dabur one much but the banjara's one is great so i put it in a normal spray bottle i i buy the really really big bottle and 
yeah that's why i put it here and i write rose water on it because i have lots of these spray bottles and i mess up once i put like my hair conditioner water spray on my face which is horrible okay <laughs> let's not get distracted so i spray this on my face as a natural toner after i wash my face and you know my, uh, press it into my skin but when i'm putting my serum my face is again dry so I just <sighs> and then i put the serum Wow, that gives such a good glow. Never mind. So when I put my serum, the serum gets absorbed nicely. And then again after the serum, I spray rose water and then put my moisturizer. So rose water is not taking away your serum from anywhere. So when you spray it, the rose water is staying on your skin. You're not removing it from your face. So none of your products are getting wasted. It's just getting better use out of it. So wet your face every time you put a product. Hack number 10. Now this is something we all ignore mostly. As much as we take care of our skin, our body should not get neglected. So exfoliating the skin on our body is very, very important. So what I do is I make the normal sugar scrub, which I make for my face. If you haven't checked up, checked out that video, I'll put it somewhere up here. But yeah, so, or it'll be in the description. If that's left after I use it on my face, I just mix a little more milk in it or whatever and I massage my entire body. But now if you don't want to put so many things in your body scrub, just take coffee and what is it? coffee and honey or coffee and oil, coconut oil or coffee, sugar and coconut oil, anything just to make a normal body scrub and scrub your entire body at least once a week if you don't do that like I'm very bad at it so I do it uh, once a month but I try doing it more and after you exfoliate your skin is just stripped out of the top layer so moisturize your skin and to moisturize your skin I like to use coconut oil now most of us have this thing that it stings or it's very chip chippy and all that so do it in the night before you sleep or if you don't put coconut oil, just be regular in putting normal moisturizer. So I've tried, I'm trying, like, I'm trying to put coconut oil every single night on my hands and legs before I sleep. But trust me, I don't like the feeling a lot. So I try to at least put a normal Nivea moisturizer or something on my skin every single night before I sleep. And trust me, my skin was like crackly. It was really bad and dry and I never cared of my body or my skin and this is like a recent thing which I started doing and it's so good like all the cracks and all have gone and my skin feels so soft and nice. So yeah, that's about it. Make sure you exfoliate your skin, exfoliate your entire body and moisturize it regularly and it will also create an elasticity in your body. So if you exercise or you gain weight and lose weight regularly, you keep getting stretch marks. Now these stretch marks are very irritating. So if you have a good moisturized body, it creates elasticity in your body and stretch, up, stretch marks won't even come. Like even if you don't work out for a while, you won't get stretch marks. If you work out and you know your skin stretches, you still will not get stretch marks if your body is nice and moisturized all the time. And before you work out and if you're doing intense workout, make sure you moisturize your skin even then. So whatever the stretches or whatever happens, the moisturizer will just help it to keep your body wrinkle free and you know, young and smooth and nice. That's about it for my hacks. I hope you guys try it and do tell me in the comments which one you'll try and how your results are. Like, how did it work out for you? Did it help? Did it not? If you have any suggestions, tell me in the comments down below and do try it. Please try it. Taking care of yourself. See, you're the only person in the world can, who, who can, you can take care of. See, others, you can suggest them, but you can't help. You can't do it for them. You're the only person in the world that you can take care of. So don't forget to take care of yourself all the time. And what's the big deal? Yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching it till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We need to hit a good amount of subscribers quickly. And like my video, share it, turn your bell notifications on so you will be notified every time I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And yeah, my account is here or in the description somewhere. Just go follow me on Instagram. And yeah, that's about it. Bye.